let's talk about building the interproximal areas of, for example, class four restorations. Essentially, there are two ways in which we can do this. We can do the immediate approach or do the delayed approach. Um, so one of the differences, well, basically the immediate approach is once you've created your palatal shell, you then insert uh, an interproximal matrix, stabilize that with a wedge. Uh, and then the next step would be, we would get a small increment of resin. We would insert that into the interproximal area uh, then sculpt and model the composite so you get a nice shell uh, and then you light cure the composite against your interproximal matrix. Um, so when you remove the matrix uh, you will have a plate or shell um, and you'll have um, an adjoining interproximal shell. So that is your um, your immediate interproximal wall builder. The other approach would be doing the delayed approach um, and believe it or not this is a technique that most of us use so what usually happens is once we've done the plate of shell and the dentin buildup, we would insert an acetate matrix and secure that with a wooden wedge. We will then apply our final increment of resin, your enamel mass, um, and as we're, we're shaping it on the facial surface, we then pack the composite into proximally. Um, and then what we do is we apply some modeling resin onto the mylar strip and we use the mylar pull through technique. So we pull the mylar strip from um, from the buckle towards the palatal and essentially we're dragging the composite uh, to form the interproximal wall. So you've got the immediate and delayed. Immediate is you're doing it straight after the palatal shell and before the dentine buildup and the delayed technique is you're doing the palatal shell and the dentine buildup um, and you're restoring the interproximal areas uh, when uh, you're doing your final enamel mass.